Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. We are trying to get 100 subscribers before 2021, so please do hit that subscribe button. I did hit 100 subscribers, but something kind of glitched. I don't know what it was, but I went back down to 95, so I don't know if a bunch of people just unsubscribed or what, but whatever it is, we only need five more subscribers at the moment to hit 100 subscribers. We can do it, guys, so please do hit the subscribe button. And also, before this video starts, um, my buddy Orion over on the Cardmonger YouTube channel has launched a website where he reviews playing cards, and uh, it only takes about a minute to read the review, and you can find out whether the deck you are purchasing is for you or for not. So, like, if you're trying to order a card online and you want to know if it's a good deck, all the pros and cons about it. You can check out his uh, website and it will tell you everything you want to know. It's a very convenient website. I think you guys will like it. So definitely hit the link down in the description to check out his website. And don't forget to follow me on social media. All my links to my social media will be down below. So you guys can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. All that stuff, guys. And with that, let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. So the spectator can go ahead and take these cards and shuffle them up all they want to. Just like this. And whenever they're done shuffling, I would ask for the deck back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one joker, put on top, and the other joker is going to go on the bottom. So if I just spread through here, you can see one joker is here on top, and the other joker is here on the bottom, just like that. So now what's going to happen is I'm just going to go through and just have you touch any card. Let's say it's uh, this one right here, as you can see. Um, I'm not looking at it. Just memorize this card, and we're going to go ahead and just place it right here in the middle. And we can just, and I can show you, we still have one joker here on the top and one joker here on the bottom just like that okay so now check this out all I gotta do is take my hand and wave over the cards and now the joker is completely vanished and if I just spread through just like this the jokers are now in the middle of the deck with one card in between them your eight of clubs so that was a trick, guys, and now let's learn how to do it. Okay, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. The only thing you're going to need is a deck of cards and two helper cards. In this case, I went with the two jokers, but you can use any two cards you want. The two kings, two queens, two aces, two, any kind of regular value. It does not matter what two cards you use, just as long as you have two helper cards. In this case, I like to use the jokers. So before you place the jokers in the top and the bottom of the deck, you're just going to hand the cards over to the spectator and have them be shuffled by the spectator. It just ensures the spectator that you have not tampered with these and there is no way you can know the order to this deck of cards. So once uh, they are done shuffling, you're just going to ask for the deck back and you're going to place uh, one joker here on the top and the other joker is going to go on the bottom just like that. And you can spread through and show, look, one joker is on the top and one joker is on the bottom. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your deck and you're just going to spread through and have them touch the back of any card. Make sure they touch and don't just pull out because uh, you'll, well, you'll see in a second. So they touch any card, in this case uh, this one right here, and they have touched the seven of hearts, okay? You don't normally want to look at this, but it doesn't really matter because this is the tutorial. So what you're going to do is whenever you're up here showing this card to them, you're going to have uh, this up uh, at their faces, you're going to come over with the other hand that's holding the rest of the cards, and you're going to come up, and you're going to contact that card above the card they've selected with your thumb, and your fingers are still going to be contacting uh, their card. So these fingers here um, are contacting this card, okay? So you're showing that to them. You're going to come over here, grab that with your thumb, and whenever you come, to bring the cards down, so you're up at your face. Whenever you bring the cards down, you're going to pull that card underneath the deck and pull that card up just like that. So now you kind of created the illusion that this is their card right here, even though now their card is pretty much here on the bottom of the pack, and it's where uh, the other cards can just spread on top of it, just like that. So now they think their card's lost in the middle. You're going to square everything up, and now look, you're going to be squaring up, placing their seven of hearts um, right underneath that joker, just like that. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to say, look, I have one joker here, on the top, and I have another joker on the bottom. What you're going to do is you're just going to take your thumb, ruffle down one, two cards, just like that. You're going to contact that with your pinky, and now you're just going to pull these two cards out as one. So this is actually a double, but you're holding these as one card, saying we have the other joker here on the bottom. And that's just a good convincer that um, the cards are still exactly where you said they are. So they pretty much, they believe their cards in the middle, they saw it get squared up, and they believe the two jokers are still on the top and bottom. 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to do kind of any pass you want. You can do a classic pass, a Herman pass. I would really recommend a turnover pass because that will just be turning over the deck. And it would just look a little something like this. Okay, so we have the two jokers here. Uh, we're just going to turn over the deck just like that. And oh, where the jokers go in, you have to spread it either face up and show these might be the two jokers and then with their, their card in between or you would either have to flip the deck back over so you'd just be turning it over and then turning it back over just to show the cards it's not i wouldn't really recommend doing the turnover pass so let's go ahead and get these back in position so uh these two are here at the bottom this one's on top okay so what i would recommend doing is a herman pass or something like that a classic pass just a pass that visually makes the cards completely disappear not only is that visual but uh it's just a lot more convenient later for the trick. The turnover pass is not that convenient for this particular effect. So do a Herman pass, classic pass, dribble pass, whatever pass you want to do to uh, basically cut the cards, basically. Um, you could, what you could do, if it's easier for you, because essentially all a pass is is so you didn't know. This is what it's going to be looking like from exposed view. You're simply just cutting the deck invisibly. And you're doing that really fast so it looks like the cards vanish from thin air. And whenever you do that, um, you're cutting the cards, so you're taking their card and that joker and you're placing them on top of this joker. And um, so now that's pretty much sandwiched. So what you could do is, yes, you could um, cut the deck. You could just simply say, all right, look, we're going to cut the deck, snap our fingers, and uh, the card, the two jokers are now in between. Um, there is now a card in between the two jokers. So I guess that could you could cut the deck, but I personally don't like doing that. But if you guys don't know how to do a pass or don't want to, you don't have to do a pass. You could easily just uh, cut the cards. But I prefer doing a pass just because it's a vanish and it just looks more magical. And it would make more sense to the spectator rather than just cutting the cards. But you could totally cut the cards if you want to, if you think that's fine. But I personally don't like to do that. I just like to do a pass. So I guess if you guys want to learn a pass... Um, I have taught how to do the Herman Pass on my YouTube channel. I will leave a link down in the description below so you guys can learn how to do that pass. But if you guys want to learn how to do some different pass, I'll, I will leave a link in the description where you guys can learn a couple more different ways to do a pass as well. But essentially, yes, what you're going to do is you're just going to do any kind of pass. I screwed up on that, my bad. Um, you're going to do any kind of pass to supposedly make the cards disappear. And just a little hint, if you're doing something like the Herman Pass, for example, like I did, what I recommend doing is after you have put the cards on top, the moment it comes here, you're going to start waving your hand over it. So it looks like you took your hand and just waved over the cards just like that to make the cards disappear. So one more time, you're going to control that card to the bottom, and you're going to do any kind of pass you want to do. Uh, that wasn't super great, but whatever. And, it just is, and essentially that will have controlled that card to being right here in between the jokers. So then you can just lay this down, and you can show that it is there, seven of hearts. So that was the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, guys, we are trying to hit 100 subscribers before 2021, so please do subscribe to the channel. With that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.